What if a nuclear war happens between India and Pakistan? One night in February 2019, they were extremely close to launching their sons, but thankfully it didn't happen due to US efforts that night. But what if this happened? Well, let's travel back to March 1, 1954, when America conducted its largest thermonuclear test, the Castle Bravo. I ain't going into details, but what I want to tell you is that it went horribly wrong. The test took place at the Bikini Atoll, but guess what? Can you imagine where the radioactive material from the explosion spread after leaving the atoll? The nuclear fallout of the blast spread over roughly 7,000 square miles in the east, it reached the United States, crossed the Atlantic, and was found in Europe. In the west, it was found in Australia, Japan, and even India, and after this test, the Indian prime minister of that time called for a standstill agreement to stop these tests. By the way, did I mention that the Castle Bravo was just a 14 megaton bomb? And it was in the 1950s, just imagine the power of nukes today. So, if India and Pakistan go into a nuclear war today, they wouldn't just destroy themselves, they would directly cover the world with nuclear fallout. Iran, Nepal, Bhutan, the Maldives Afghanistan, and China would be the first countries to suffer, and as per research, the radioactive smoke caused by the explosions would cover this world in just two weeks, and there wouldn't be any sunlight on Earth, initiating a nuclear winter that would kill 2 billion people. Pakistan with its 200 nukes and India with its 150 nuclear weapons can bring hell to each other, and it is completely different from the thinking of some Indians that they can nuke Pakistan, and because India is a 1.4 billion person nation, a large number of its citizens would survive, and then they would conquer Pakistan. Instead, this war would end both of them, and the world would suffer global starvation.